Well, I'll be damned. Is Joe Biden about to do something right? Is he about to... I don't want to say this is taking a stand against the Chinese government, but this step is at least a step in the right direction. Perhaps he's taken one step up the ladder to taking a stand. It was announced this morning that Joe Biden is expected to implement a diplomatic boycott of the 2022 Beijing Olympics. Now, what that means is that the United States is not going to send a delegation to China for the Olympics. Xi Jinping actually the other day invited Joe Biden to come over to China for the Olympics in February. Not going to happen. No president, no vice president, no representative from the U.S. government, period. There has been pressure on Joe Biden to do this for months now. Hell, Mitt Romney has been pushing for this since March. Now, what a diplomatic boycott does, it basically signifies that the United States government is against the practices of the Chinese government while allowing American athletes to still compete in the Olympics. Basically, this is just all political. It's all for show. American athletes will be able to decide for themselves whether or not they feel it's right to travel to China to compete in the Olympics. The announcement this morning has been met with, I would say, mixed reviews. Many feel America should pull out of the Olympics altogether. The atrocities committed by the CCP are endless. The oppression of the Muslim population, their push to take over Taiwan, oppressing the people of Hong Kong. Oh yeah, how could I forget? You had that little thing called the Covey. Remember that? It came from China, courtesy of an assist from Anthony Fauci. If it were up to me, Anthony Fauci would be in prison or deported to China, but that's not my call. There are many reasons that America should refuse to participate in Beijing next year. Hell, the Olympics, to be honest with you, shouldn't be held in China, period. The only reason the IOC chose Beijing is because the other host cities pulled out, and they pulled out because they didn't have the local support. We talked about this over the summer. The International Olympic Committee is having a harder and harder time finding host cities for future Olympic events. Many cities feel that it's just no longer worth the investment, it's not worth the trouble. Local populations, they don't want their hometowns invaded by tourists from all over the world. Beijing was chosen to host the 2022 Olympics because they were the only choice. Now, it's easy for me to sit here and say that Joe Biden should pull the United States out of the Olympics altogether. It's easy for me to sit here and say that athletes should not represent America over there. But it's just not that simple. These Olympic athletes, they train, they prepare, they work hard their entire lives to compete. It's not their fault that the Chinese government is the most corrupt in the world. It's not their fault that the CCP oppresses their own people. Now, I'm not a defender of Joe Biden, but I think he's making the right choice here, credit where credit is due. I think he's making the right call by diplomatically boycotting the Olympics instead of just pulling America out completely. Even though a diplomatic boycott means absolutely nothing and is for appearances only, at least he's doing something. America pulling out of the Olympics for political reasons is unprecedented, at least in my lifetime. The last time it happened was back in 1980, before I was born, when the Olympics were held in Moscow. 65 countries, led by the United States, boycotted those games because Russia invaded Afghanistan. Not only did America pull out, any American who competed in the Olympics of their own volition in Moscow risked losing their U.S. passport. Essentially, if you competed in 1980, you were not going to be welcomed back to America. The International Olympic Committee, they find themselves in the middle of a shit sandwich. They are coming off one of the lowest rated Olympics in history. The Tokyo Games were a disaster. Some Americans were actively cheering against their own country. We don't want to see people like Gwen Berry, Raven Saunders, Megan Rapino representing us on a global stage. We had some of the most anti-American athletes representing America in the Tokyo Olympics, led to record low ratings for NBC. So you're coming off that disaster, and you turn around six months later, and the Olympics are hosted in the last country on this planet that you would want to have them hosted. 
Beijing is going to be a thousand times worse than Tokyo. Nothing good can come from this. There is a worldwide resistance to the Beijing Olympics. Last month in Greece, human rights activists interrupted the flame lighting ceremony in protest to China hosting the Olympics. Back in July, the European Parliament, along with the United Kingdom Parliament, diplomatically boycotted the Olympics. Same thing Joe Biden did. Even here in America, the resistance to China hosting the Olympics is close to a bipartisan issue. Unless, of course, you're one of the woke sponsors. Companies like Coca-Cola, Visa, Samsung, they have been receiving pressure. They're being questioned as to why they are supporting the Olympics, considering all the human rights violations going on in China. The group Human Rights Watch, it sent letters to the top 13 sponsors. One replied. One. No response from Coke. Nothing from Visa. Samsung couldn't bother to pick up their phones, type out an email. At a congressional hearing back in July, executives from Coke, Visa, and Airbnb, they said at that hearing that it wasn't the responsibility of their companies to address the human rights violations in China. They deferred that responsibility to the United States government. Really? Really? Let me get this straight. These companies have no problem addressing mythical human rights violations here in America. They have no problem promoting social justice in America. But when it comes to standing up to China, it's silence. It's not our responsibility. Hmm. Why am I not surprised? Remember back in April when Rob Manfred moved the Major League Baseball All-Star Game from Atlanta to Denver? Guess who was one of the companies, one of the main companies, pressuring him to do that? Coca-Cola. Apparently, Coca-Cola has a real problem with states requiring voters to prove their identity to vote. You can't do that. How will all the people who came here illegally exercise their right to vote if they can't show ID? That was a real problem for Coke. But the CCP detaining over one million Muslims, infant Muslims, in concentration camps, beating the shit out of them, torturing them, re-educating them. There's a problem with that. We here at Coca-Cola support our masters in the Chinese government. They are not torturing Muslims. They are simply attempting to integrate Muslims into the Chinese culture. There's nothing to see here. China does not deserve to host the Olympics, but it's too late for the IOC to do anything about it now. They are stuck. The Olympics, the Olympics are already a dying brand. They are nowhere near as big of a deal as they were when I was growing up. But this could be the beginning of the end. This is going to be a disaster. It's going to be two weeks of nothing but propaganda from the Chinese government. Look how great life is in China. Look at all these smiling faces that we control from cradle to grave. Remember over the summer when China tried to claim they won the Tokyo Olympics? The medal count was released. The United States was number one. China started counting medals won by other countries and included them in their total. The CCP will do whatever it takes to paint themselves in the best light possible, which is what communist countries do. They can't show you the misery. They can't show you what's really going on. Everything has to be produced. There is pressure on NBC to drop coverage of the Olympics, and it's being rumored that they are considering it. NBC accounts for 40% of the IOC's revenue. If they were to drop coverage, it would be devastating to the Olympics. But that's not going to happen, of course. Even with low ratings, the Olympics are a huge moneymaker for NBC. It will be the most watched programming they show all year outside of the NFL. Like other woke companies, NBC has no problem calling out fake injustices here in America. But when it comes to calling out real racial problems in China or making money, the only color NBC cares about is green. It is going to backfire. One thing Americans don't tolerate is anti-American sentiment. Americans don't like it. And it doesn't get more anti-American than China. Credit to Joe Biden, though, seriously. Credit to Joe Biden for at least getting this right. 
Now, let me know what you guys think about it. Also, do you think the Beijing Olympics will set record low ratings? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe with the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, kc underscore btl84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.